everyone welcome to another mukbang for me i have got a place well i've got food from a place that i've never eaten at before so i know i'm excited to try them out even though that was a very questionable i'm excited i am i am uh i'm i'm curious i think someone mm, they didn't request that i tried jersey mike's but they did suggest it in a sense. They told me they were eating Jersey Mike's and that I should try them if I haven't before. And I haven't before, so now I am. Good goes beyond the sub. Oh, Dr. Pepper, I love you. It's been so long since I've had a Dr. Pepper. My goodness. So I've got some, some chips. These bring back memories only because the place that I used to cater at, you know, when we would do luncheons and stuff and we would make lunch boxes for people, we used Miss Vicky's. So that brings back memories. I'm excited. I don't think I've had Miss Vicky's since I worked there. So it's been at least like five years <laughs> since I've had this, that brand anyways. And for a wrap, I got a grilled veggie wrap. Let's see. I know it doesn't really matter, but... In case you forget, there, now you can remember that I'm eating at Jersey Mike's? Is that, that is what it's called. Okay. So, did I say I got the grilled veggie? So I'm excited. I'm very hungry. Oh, this is a mess. <laughs> All right. Um, um, okay. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe, oh boy. Is this a, this might be a moment where I need to, um, put on a baby bib? AKA, well, an adult bib, how about that? It's a napkin tucked into the shirt. Yes, I am, I am going there. This is all drippy droppy. I don't even know what all exactly is in this. I just saw veggie and I said, okay. <laughs> as far as I can see, it's, oh, it's so soggy. <laughs> Maybe if you get the grilled veggie wrap, you should eat it in store because by the time you get home, it might not be so good anymore. <laughs> That's okay. I'm glad I don't really have a problem with food textures. I know some people this would totally gross them out, it being soggy, but I think there's tomatoes, lettuce, provolone cheese, and then the grilled veggies, which I think was like peppers and onions, and I think there's mayo in here, so. Tastes good to me. So I hope you all are eating something yummy as well. Maybe something a little more fresh. <laughs> it took a while to drive home in traffic and everything today. I don't think I have a Jersey Mike super close to me, but there was one close to where I have therapy, which I just had. And so coming home, it was on the way. I mean, technically. And so I figured I would stop there. And here we are. Mm hmm. It's good. It's been a long time since I've had a wrap, too. Yeah, I think I named everything that's in here. At least I don't taste anything different. Mm. So hungry. Food always tastes eight million times better when you're actually hungry. <laughs> I'm trying to think of where I should start, you guys. Stories. Do I have any stories from this past week? Mm. I had kind of a, a relapse, a setback in my therapy. I feel like I was doing so well. And then these past few days, I've been doing really not well. <laughs> mm. Which, you know, 
my therapist said it was completely normal and blah blah blah. <laughs> Can you guys see Galileo? He's sniffing. He's a sniffing. Hey you. I just fed you. He says, yeah. And? He knows he doesn't get human food. I don't think I've ever let them have human food. Not even something that drops on the floor. Mm -mm. Well, I suppose when I used to eat meat, I would let Galileo lick the tuna can. So maybe I have. But I had a product break me out really badly on my face. like really bad like I don't remember and I don't know that you're gonna be able to see it but like these are thankfully mostly gone it was on my chin it was on this side of my face as well it's like around and on my nose like oh you guys I can always tell it's a product that broke me out when it breaks me out in the places where I don't normally break out you know what I mean and especially like since I've gotten my skincare routine under control for my face and everything. It's so strange for me to have a breakout like this. And I had, I had forgotten how much it sucks to have a face full of zits. And not even just zits, but like, excuse me, the really like deep down painful I mean like when I'm talking here I can feel them on my face because they're just sore and they're so deep down in there I forgot how much it sucks like I remembered that it sucks but it's just it's been so long and it's so dumb that like I don't know how to put it into words let me take a bite and we'll see if I can think of something That was probably insanely cute. You're welcome. These onions are a little stringy. The way they were cut. Hmm. That's really good though. This is hitting the spot. Um... But yeah, like with zits and stuff and breakouts, I don't, for me anyways, it's so easy for me to like down talk myself when that happens. Like, God, I'm so ugly. Like, I can't go out today. Like, no, 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 You know, I was telling my therapist, it's like, it just made the perfect storm for me in that, you know, I was doing so good with my therapy and then it's like, this happened on my face and so it's like, well, my face is effed, so why not go to the rest of my body where I normally pick? Like, it's all downhill from here, but in reality, like, I'm just making things worse and then I feel even crappier about myself and like, I don't know. It's just been a rough few days and like it makes me not want to get on camera and then it's like, Cassie, you know, most of these people, if they've been with you for a while, slash most of these people in general that are watching you, they've seen your naked face, they've seen you with zits, they've seen you with a lot more zits than this if they've watched you since you were in Boston, like, people love you regardless of your zits. Like, and me telling myself, it's like, do you see other people with lots of zits on their face or on their body, wherever, and think lesser of them? No! No! And, like, 
when you see other people with zits or acne or whatever, is that all you think about when you're looking at their face? No! No! Like, not at all. It's, it's just because these zits are so deep and painful, it's like, I'm thinking about it so much and it feels so much bigger and more apparent than it really is and like it's just it's dumb <laughs> it's it's dumb but yeah it was good to hear from my therapist that it's like this is all par for the course it was gonna happen eventually Especially when I was doing so well. Hmm. And it was making me wonder too, and I'm glad I was able to talk to her about it today, but like... Mm, I had something in my teeth, but... You know, for this past week, it's like, I've been feeling really down, and I wasn't sure, because, like, I've been taking my meds like usual, like, no big stressors or anything going on. There was no real reason for me to, and I was like, oh, maybe I'm just going through a funk, whatever, whatever, but it lasted a lot longer than my typical funks, and I just couldn't figure it out, and my therapist just told me, you know, it makes sense. Like, you've been making this huge change with yourself and your body and everything, and the thing that you used to do, the skin picking, that was such a huge release of endorphins for you. So, like, now that you're not feeling as many of those endorphins all the time, you're going to feel down. <laughs> it's like, well, crap. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> When did my adult bib fall off? Mm -mm -mm. God forbid this beautiful article of clothing of mine gets dirty. <laughs> so yeah. That's been a lot of what my last week has been consisting of. Mmm. Mm. A lot of me trying to not hate myself. <laughs> so I've gotten back into working out, which feels really good. I had taken probably at least like a month and a half off. I feel like when I got home from being on the doctors, I just like didn't work out. I think that's when that started. And that was making me feel bad about myself. Like it just, I don't know, I hate working out. I've never liked working out, ever. It's always been something I've had to force myself to do, but like, because you know, some people will say, oh, you know, that runner's high, or when I'm working out, it just feels so good, and blah, blah, I'm like, no, I hate it. I hate, all, like, everything about working out. <laughs> I hate getting sweaty. I hate working hard, <laughs> like, in that way, in a physical manner, and, um, but I do feel better afterwards. I do. It might not be like an immediate thing, but even just feeling the physical changes in my body and stuff, like, it does help me to feel better about myself. So I've been working out for like the past two weeks now, I think, and I feel a lot better. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, what else, what else? I was just at Target, too. They've got that, like, pickup lane now or whatever. Has that, have any of you used that? I think you have to have, like, the Target app, and then you can, like, place an order, 
and then just pull up into those like pickup lanes by the front door and then someone from Target just like brings out your order and puts it in your car. It seems cool enough, but oh. I like walking around Target, so I don't know that it would ever be something that I would use. But I think it was a good a good move on Target. I could see that being so helpful for like busy moms and dads and stuff. Especially if you like just pick the kids up or whatever, but you need to pick up a couple things at Target instead of having to like cart your kids into Target and everything and deal with them wanting to mess with everything and go through the toy aisles and stuff. Like I could just I could see that being a good thing. Reminds me of catering. I think I've talked quite a bit about my catering days before, but that was one of those jobs that I really did not like. But because my coworkers were so awesome, I loved that job. That was probably my favorite job that I've ever had. Like outside of, you know, career jobs, like my teaching and stuff that I used to do. I think that one won. Although, I felt the same way about my retail job when I was in Boston. I hated that job. <laughs> I hated it. I hated the customers. Not all of them, but just the area that I was working. We had some sketchy customers and some awful customers. But my coworkers were awesome. I loved my coworkers. I hope they're all doing well. Although towards the end of towards the end of that job, I didn't love all my coworkers. A lot of my coworkers that I started with ended up either moving away or quitting or, you know, whatever. And near the end, I would say maybe for like the last year or half a year or so that I was living out there. Um, they obviously had to hire new people, especially for the holiday season. And a lot of them were just high schoolers that didn't give a crap. And so you just ended up having to work 800 times harder because they were working 800 times less than your previous coworkers that actually like were adults and we, you know, knew to be a team player. <laughs> so, near the end of the job, didn't love as many of my coworkers, but for the most part, I look back fondly on that job because most of my coworkers were amazing. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I got TV this past week. Very limited and really crappy, but hey, it's TV. It was one of those things where I got a letter in the mail saying, you know, special offer for Cassie. You know, you only have to pay $49.99 or whatever a month for internet, plus you get TV, plus you get whatever else. And I'm like, literally right now, I'm only paying for internet and I'm paying three times that much. Like once, because I had like the one year package when you first move into a place or whatever, so it was like 80 bucks a month I think for my internet, because I've got like super duper high speed because like I need that for YouTube and everything. But, so I got that letter and I was like, um, 
this is not even a question. Like, yes, please. So I called and... Because it's like one of those things where it's like, would I like to have TV? Oh, yeah. You know, I love TV. Do I need it? No. I've got Netflix. I've got Hulu. I go over to my mom's once a week and we have trashy TV night, so I catch up on most things. Like, TV is one of those nice luxuries, that's for sure. But it's just so expensive nowadays that, like I said last year, I just didn't want to budget for it. So, either way, I called them. And, um,. The lady was like looking stuff up and everything and she said if I wanted to do that package my internet speed would be cut by about half and I was like oh okay never mind like <laughs> but she was like well let me look like we might have other packages blah 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 I can give you blah 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 so she ended up finding some package with my same internet speed but then I get like local channels, really crappy quality, because it's not HD, but it's playing on an HD TV, so it's like super fuzzy quality and everything, but I mean, like I said, it's nice that I can watch the news and, you know, whatever, if I'm ever feeling like having the TV on in the background or whatever, so, and even that, like, like I said, to keep my same internet speed, but then also have my crappy, like, four channels or whatever that I get now. It's like, I'm paying 50 bucks less. I don't know. It's like, couldn't you just have done that for me? Like, I mean, obviously not. That's obviously how companies make money, but... Dumb, dumb, dumb. Whatever. The guy that came out to hook it up and everything, because I tried to do it myself, but the the jack that like plugs into the wall or whatever wasn't working. Um, so tech person had to come out and look at it. He was super cute. <laughs> Didn't speak English very well. I think he was Russian. like super tall like the kind of tall where I'm pretty sure he had to duck a little to like get through my door I don't even know what that life must feel like <laughs> um, yeah he was he was adorable I just felt really bad because I couldn't understand him half the time But hey, it all worked out. I sometimes forget though, because like, you know, they say, like, when they do the courtesy call and everything to remind you of your appointment, they're like, make sure all your pets are put away, blah, blah, blah. And I've never had to worry about that before, because Galileo just like immediately when someone comes to the door, runs and hides and stays hidden until the person leaves. Unless it's someone he knows, like my mom or my dad, he feels comfortable with, and some a handful of my friends. Um, but so I wasn't even thinking about it. But then freaking Figaro, <laughs> it's like friendliest cat ever. <laughs> and the minute this guy comes in, like was tripping over Fig, and like while he was trying to like do all the setup and stuff, Fig kept like going over and like rubbing against him and like sniffing on him and stuff. And I'm like, cat, what are you doing? <laughs> Can't you act a bit more cat-like? But like, that's one of the things I love about Figaro. <laughs> so, eventually I had to put Fig in my bedroom. Cause the guy wasn't saying anything. He seemed like he was okay with cats, but like, at the same time, I'm sure he was thinking, like, can this girl please put this cat away so I can do my job? <laughs> so I did. I, I fairly quickly put Fig away. 
Yum! Oh, that was good. Oh, I was hungry. Yeah! There you go, guys. There was my mukbang for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you either shared a meal with me or just enjoyed listening to me jibber jabber in the background while you do dishes or you're cleaning your place or whatever, like you guys tell me you do sometimes. I just hope you enjoyed listening to me chat about absolutely nothing. I always feel that way at the end of these mukbangs. I'm like, God, I'm so boring. <laughs> but I'm glad some of you enjoyed these. I think that's about it, you guys. I hope everyone is doing well and having a wonderful week. I don't know that there's much else to say other than, like I said, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do go ahead, give me a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!